Okay, so in this episode of Gav Details, we're resuming the What Does Gav Use series. Uh, I've got the GoPro Hero 5 Black set up, and I also have a new Panasonic Lumix G7 set up. So I'll probably go in between the cameras and uh, just kind of display somewhere on the screen which, which one I'm using uh, for detailing. I invested in a camera that gives me a little bit more uh, adjustability uh, in terms of zoom and clarity versus the GoPro so that hopefully in future videos I can uh, show more detail, no pun intended, um, but just uh, a more clear picture, especially when it comes to inspecting paint with a light, showing swirls and defects, etc. So, uh, what we have in front of us first off here is what I would use for uh, vehicles that I maintain, uh, you know, family and friends vehicles and uh, any vehicles that I may see that I've applied a ceramic coating to that comes for maintenance washes is the Supreme Guzzler Waffle Weave by Cobra. Uh, this towel measures 20 inches by 40 inches. Uh, it's soft. You can see that it is Waffle Weave. So you can see here, this is this is the Panasonic here, and we're trying to do the manual focus. So it has a sewn edge. Um, it absorbs really well. Uh, you can wring it out and continue to use it. Uh, I use uh, bead maker as a drying aid once I have uh, used uh, air to remove the majority of the water from the panel. Uh, I use uh, an ego blower for that. I will link a video in the top right corner that shows uh, actually modifying the switches for uh, the ego blower. So the Supreme Guzzler Waffle Weave. Uh, you can find this on AutoGeek. I will uh, put a link in the description if it's available on Amazon. I will link the uh, Amazon affiliated link. Uh, the second towel that we have here is what I personally use to dry my truck, which is ceramic coated with Sea Quartz UK 3.0. Again, uh, washed and rinsed and then uh, use the leaf blower to remove the majority of the water and then I go back with bead maker and this which is from the rag company this is the double twistress which measures 20 by 24 so um, almost half the length as the Cobra towel premium Korean twist loop towel so the statistics or the specs on this towel is that it is a 70 30 blend 850 gsm uh, we have a butter soft microfiber suede border which you can see here it's 100 percent korean uh split microfiber so you can see uh this towel it's difficult to say um, the Griot's PFM towel would be very similar and it's a larger towel so it is um, definitely more absorbent. Again, I wring it out as I go and I use bead maker as a drying aid and uh, I have no problems with streaking. Uh, on the windows I will go back with a dry regular microfiber towel and just remove any streaking from the windows but other than that uh, this towel is very soft. I haven't seen any uh, swirls or scratches induced by the drying method. Uh, one thing you do need to worry about is when you might get caught by uh, like a badge or, or perhaps by the door you can see here you'll catch some of the threading so uh, after you wash your towels you'll want to just make sure that you very carefully uh, clip these to remove it so that you don't continue 
to promote any type of unraveling for your towels. So here's here's another one. This is on the this here is the Panasonic. And uh, last is a Platinum Pluffle Hybrid. This is a hybrid weave also from the Rag Company 7030 blend, 490 GSM with a Platinum Buttersoft uh, microfiber suede edge and this is 100% uh, Korean split microfiber but this has a circular knit weave. So you can see it's similar to the uh, waffle weave where you can see that it has like these pockets. This is on the Panasonic camera here and the GoPro here. Uh, on the back side if I flip it over you can see this is what I would call the back and this is what I would refer to as the front of the towel. So this towel measures uh, this is also a 20 by 40 towel and I used this towel to dry the Camaro. Um, again the Camaro has uh, Wolfgang Uber ceramic coating which is a couple years old but since the car doesn't see uh, inclement weather um, the coating has held up. Uh, I do use uh, bead maker as a drying aid and I also uh, used the Nanolex wash coat which is actually a foam on and rinse off product that I got in a detailers domain mystery box so I have a video highlighting that product I will link that in the corner so um, this towel is very plush it's um, it's a pluffle so it has these longer these longer fibers and the fibers seem to get matted down when the towel gets wet even though you're not really trying to absorb all the water on the panel um, it uh, it doesn't I'm not sure if I would use this towel as a as a drying towel uh, it's it's very large so you might be able to use it as like a final buff towel after going over the vehicle with something like the twistress if you just wanted to give it a final wipe down and remove any type of streaking um, I like to make sure that I'm using soft and you know somewhat scratch free towels for uh, washing and drying so I figured this would be good for the Camaro uh, speaking of the Camaro, we have uh, hopefully some interesting content coming up with that. Um, a major modification was done and done haphazardly, if you will. So I'll be hopefully documenting some of that uh, correction, detailing, correction. This is a different type of correction, but um, more information on that. So. Uh, I will link the products below if there are any Amazon links in the description if you use those links to purchase the products uh, the channel does earn a very small commission this way I can continue to bring you content and videos trying new stuff uh, we do have G Technic crystal serum light that we should be applying hopefully to a uh, new Durango unfortunately here in the Midwest uh, it is November 16th and we're already seeing overnight lows in the 20s and we've already seen a couple uh, bouts of snow so what would naturally be the end of the detail season with the temperatures being around 50 degrees not so much we're not that lucky so hopefully winter comes fast and leaves fast and springtime comes quickly so uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and for more detailing videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.